I have a twin brother. We share the same body. Dr. Chen took my brother, misdiagnosed for Bell's palsy. So this was kind of a shock to me. He gave me some antibiotics. Then he said to relax for a few weeks, and it's all right. I listened to him. I rested on the sofa for six consecutive days, but my face was showing symptoms. Then my little finger started twitching. Not long after, my left arm is completely numb. On the ninth day, my fingers are completely paralyzed. The doctor kept saying, as long as I relax, I'll be fine. One morning, I woke up with a strange noise in my throat, like the scream of a monster, and my arm started moving on its own. And before long, I started saying some dirty words. I even scolded my wife, Kui Hua, uncontrollably. He was worried when he heard it. He said he'd never heard me curse before. This behavior is completely out of character for me, but I just can't control my mouth. He took our six-year-old daughter with him, went to a friend's house, so I can be left alone without so much pressure. Two days have passed, and I had the curtains closed, listening to whales sing online. Suddenly, and my right pinky started tingling. I looked down. I saw my left hand tear off a fingernail. It was so painful that I rushed to the kitchen and called the doctor. But I haven't waited for the doctor to answer. I snatched the phone out of my hand, hit the wall hard, and I put my fist up, a punch in the right eye. I lay on the floor and said what the hell. Hello, Tiju. A cold figure answered me. The words came out of my mouth, but it feels the same as before. It's like I'm saying these words out of control. I got up and leaned against a wine cabinet. The top of my eye is swollen. It's the size of a golf ball. My eyes are swollen and I can't close them. Who is that? I yelled as my neck turned to the left. Then the shadow on the glass replied. What's wrong, Tiju? You don't know me anymore. I turned to the right. How come? What's up? I turned left again. I almost forget. You don't know me, but I know you. I see on the glass. One side of the face looks calm and composed, and the face on the other side looks like a death row inmate. You jerk. Who is it? And I snapped. The swearing iron pillar. Ha ha ha. The other half of me laughed. What will Quihua think of you? How do you know Quihua? Because I know everything about you. I've been watching from the beginning. Waiting. What do you mean from the beginning? My face turned sad. It used to be just the two of us. Swimming happily in my mother's stomach. But the greedy little iron pillar doesn't know how to share. I can't stand not being the center of attention. We weren't born yet. And I gasped. You mean that's right? I'm your twin brother who was never born. Before I took my first breath, you absorbed me. But I survived. Here it is. He poked our left temple. For 33 years, I have been a light in your eyes. Trapped inside. A lifetime forgotten. But now I'm out. He suddenly turned his head forward, bumped us into the wine cabinet. When you look up, shards of glass are sticking out of my forehead. It's like an argument. You can call me Dae Kaiang. He's been growling until now. I'm taking control. Dae Kaiang dragged his feet to the side, and I went the other way, causing us to jump stiffly around the room. Waltz, we fall sideways to the drawer. The dishes are broken on the floor. I keep frying dumplings over and over again. You're going to kill us all. He raised his left arm. 
The left arm is now completely under his control. Then one arm tightens, and he brought us to the table. A frying pan hangs on the wall in the distance. He turned my cheek, stick to the icy granite surface, dragging my arms and elbows, drag us forward. Oh, I did. In a gruff voice, he grabbed the pan and aimed back. They made us stand up straight. He waved the pan down. My right temple was throbbing with pain. The great control gets stronger. It's more comprehensive. I grab my left wrist. Stop him from doing it again. Dae Kaiang roared. He's on a murder mission. My family came home. It won't be me who sees. Dae Kaiang might hurt them. I pushed the pan away with all my strength, then focused desperately. This is still my body. I am in control. I'm holding my hand. Move the pan away from the right temple. Move to the left. You're breathing and you're glowing. Dae Kaiang screamed no. I smashed it a second time. Then he didn't respond. When my wife comes back, the mess in the kitchen has been cleaned up. He was horrified to see the bandages on me, but I explained that I fell down the stairs. It's okay now. I said I have another good news for you. I hold the oranges in the fruit bowl. The corners of both mouths laughed. I said I need to be alone. It's okay. We kissed. So that's kind of the thing. But there's just one problem. I have a confession to make. I played a little joke on you. And most of what I've told you is true. The doctor with the twins. In the fight in the kitchen. One of the brothers survived. It's just that the one who survived is not the one you think. When shooting down these mosquitoes, Tai Zhu's daughter is lying on my lap watching Donald Duck on my iPad. Kui Hua is working in the study. I was going to take control of these bodies, take out all the money, and fled to live in a city in a nearby country. But let's be honest. Over the years, I have been watching Tiju's happy family life. It makes me a little jealous. After taking control, I decided to stay a little longer, but not long after. I found that life was quite comfortable. It turns out, as long as I control myself and don't swear, no one can see the difference between me and Tiju. His life suits me well, and I intend to keep it that way. If you like this story, please click like. If you don't like this story, please click subscribe to the channel to watch the next videos. Thank you.